I have traveled a long journey rather like a pilgrimage of old. It feels as if Cuthbert has blessed me. The refectorio is indicated in my painting. They have some very unusual light fittings here. So I chose one and I made it like the star. And when I come in here, I feel very blessed and very honored. And when they serve the food, I feel like maybe I'm eating in, in heaven and like the angels cooked it. And I love the word refectory. It's rather like monastic. And we are here in that same monastic welcome. This year, the whole place changed. In what way? A painting, new decorations, everything. New kitchen. The change is amazing. I, and I come in and it's so relaxing. It really is incredible what, what they've done in six weeks to transform the centre. It's, it's, it's mind-blowing. It really is. It's, it's so homely. You couldn't ask for any more. It's so homely. People are more content. Um, they're more friendly. They don't really bicker. When when you're in a, a situation outside, you know, things aren't going right for your outside. Um, and then you come into a nice warm place and people are looking after you. You know, it's just a great respite. Yeah. Oh my God, I remember the way it looked before. Um, yeah, it needed a facelift <laughs> for sure. And then when I walked in and I saw the place, I was like, my eyes nearly popped out my head. You know, it was amazing. Since it's been renovated, it is more like a home. It, the, the, the colours that they chose yeah. is absolutely brilliant. There are a lot more things going on. We, we have um, an art and crafts session on a Monday. We have a knitting class on a Tuesday. We're going to have a, a sewing class and I believe that there could be a photography club. It's possible to get a chairlift for a disabled person in the back to go to the, to, to the place. No, even the floor was been changed, the decoration, the painting, the walls, the, like the colors, they are bright. Uh, so it gives you like more uh, relaxing atmosphere and also uh, give you more appetite. Uh, the changes in the centre has given everybody, I think, a, a new environment, uh, a safe space to come to, a calmer place to come to. And then you've got this lovely lounge area where you can have a chat or speak to people, watch the television. I'm glad to see you, really. Why is that? Because I'd be on the street doing drugs or drinking. And this place takes my mind off all that. Uh, it means to me keeping myself, um, having some peace in my mind mm -hmm. and in my heart. This center is a place where many people who have some issues get in help. I mentioned a few names, Massimo, Butero, Enrico, Sevilla, Alain Ducasey. Now these are all Michelin star chefs and not to mention the gorgeous Claire Smith. Now we've been spoiled rotten. We've eaten things that we could have only dream of. I'm not sure if the Queen of England has been fed by five Michelin star chefs in one week. The food is just out of this world. Um, amazing. It really is amazing. And I'm just so happy to be part of it. And I'm glad that other people have the chance to experience this wonderful space. The taste is delicious and it's really gorgeous. The quality is balanced, not fattening, but if you have a very good food every day and very rich food every day, I think 
in the future is not good for our health. So I think we better uh, control ourselves for the good for, for our health and for our well-being. And what I like is the variety of food that you get here. Um, like a few weeks ago, we had a gentleman from Peru, uh, and the food was quite different. And, and I thought to myself, gosh, you could come back again and, and cook that. You do get what I call my five a day, and I think it's very, very healthy food. I tested and tried things I never tried them before. Also, we experienced some what we call it uh, high quality gastronomy. The whole setup of being served is special at a table. We're actually sitting at a table. Served with the napkins, served with a smile with the waitresses and um, uh, with the good table settings. The setting of the table is a stream milk course and with a cup of tea or coffee. <clears throat> the table is well prepared like in a class restaurant. We have a choice of regular or uh, vegetarian. We are asked what you're going to eat if we are allergic. So they are very careful to what they are feeding us. It's just what you need, you know, that somebody is actually giving some to you, like even a glass of water or a coffee or some food. It just makes so much difference. It just makes you feel rich for that day. Well, it it feels like you are the king of your time. <laughs> It's like the same one, you know, when you go to a big restaurant, the, the, the waiters, they have to be polite, they have to be nice, they have to be very, like, uh, make you feel uh, you are good. You feel great, you feel like a queen, you're just sitting down, people serving you at the table. I think that's fantastic, so we, we love it, we all love it. And especially the, the dessert, because um, mm. we're supposed to look after the <laughs> diet. And we are eating on the dessert here, which is fantastic. I bet I will never buy dessert at my home. No, no, never. Well, after yeah. all that knitting, you need to, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, it's possible to, to take a, a shower a freely, a free shower. Uh, take a free for me, huh? because uh, I am homeless and not like you. So uh, it's, uh, it's very in interesting to take a, a free shower, a free meal, uh, many facili fa facilities. So now it's possible to, to get a uh, hairdresser every uh, Wednesday. It's possible to uh, have a new clothes. Uh, lifetime, I get uh, a new shoes like this, if you want. This shoes is in this place. Before luck, for example, it was only one shower. Or one shower for 20 people, or it's not, it's not easy. Even washing machine, the brand of the washing machine of the old ones, yeah, of the older, uh, yeah, is, is different. Yeah, you have very good washing machine now, 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 quicker and do the washing better than before. Steve and Nick and a lot of the other staff they come up and they say, good morning, how are you? Um, and, and, that, and you don't always get that from centres. If you walk into some centres, you just sit down and nobody wants to know. And some, of the, some of the volunteers that have been here, they are fantastic. That They come up and say, good morning, how are you? My name is Will or my name is Josephine. Uh, and it's so nice. And they never ever make you feel down or you feel you are less important than any person. And loads of young students come in here to London from all parts of the world and they, 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 they do their best here to help. Yeah. It's incredible, it's great, it's good. And, 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 and especially to, to, to take their time to give, to volunteer. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's amazing. Uh, we really been spoiled. Yeah. I'm very happy to come here because um, it it's makes me, uh, it's changed my life and it makes me um, makes my social life on the go.
I've met people here that I wouldn't normally engage with in my normal life. I've got a lady who's taught me how to knit and crochet, who's uh, Mary, who's, uh, as you know, in her 80s. We've got all walks of life, you know, every demographic here. And it's the place where you can come, you know, nobody's really judging you, you can sit down. And, and for people that live alone, when you're eating with people, they become... You may not necessarily get on with all of them, but it's like a surrogate family. And it's like coming home, if you like. I, I live on my own, I spend most of my time on my own. And, and being here Monday to Friday, having a, some really nice food, meeting people, having chats with people, it means a heck of a lot. Being a pensioner, I have to um, look after my pounds and pence, if you like, and, but coming here, I can have a healthy meal uh, and meet some really lovely people. Even if I was the only woman here, I would never feel nervous about coming in, and, and I think uh, for a woman to come to, to a place where it's mostly men, um, it, it, it doesn't worry me. When I come here, I feel okay. Yeah, I feel yeah, nice. Yeah, okay. Like I don't feel like uh, I'm uh, been been uh, treated like not as a human being or call it or whatever. I feel like I'm among people who are accept me yeah. as I am. And even where I'm staying, for example, there is few places there, mm -hmm. but I stopped. I come all the way to this place because this place I feel like, like I said, I feel yeah. good. I feel good in my mind, I feel good in my heart, I feel your good soul. in your, yeah. I came here in the beginning because I'd lost my job. Um, I was broke, coming here has helped me so much. The people have been absolutely fantastic. I've had people to lean on. Um, if I'd needed advice, I've had people there. How long is this experiment? What will happen uh, next week? I don't know if we could afford to pay as much as the food that they are serving us. There's quite a few people that used to come in every day and at the moment they're, they're not here. So I hope that once the period is over and we go back to um, the way the centre was before, the people that actually use it every day, come in to wash, um, to do the laundry, um, to get clothes. I hope they come back. I think more courses would be ideal as well. Creative writing would be ideal. You know, a lot of people don't don't do anything with their brain and they've got so much to say. Maybe even doing some cookery, you know, would be ideal because a lot of people, they, they don't cook. And especially because we've had these lovely meals and some of the meals you could whip up in 10, 20 minutes. Get some chips back on the plate. Instead of all these baked, you know, these green beans and lettuces and chopped up, you know, all that rubbish, you know what I mean? It's not for me. Maybe another washing machine. It's like personally is having like clean clothes is very important than anything else because it keep you give you like the respect for yourself. I would like eventually to help with the center. Um, I don't know how, but I'm sure they'll be a day where I think I can help in a certain thing. Bring me sunshine in your smile. Bring me laughter at the while. In this world where we live, there should be more happiness. So much joy you can give in its brand new bright tomorrow. Make me happy. Through the years, never bring